death. When you die, you will leave those cars. Is it in order for Honorable Fatuma, you know, that the only equalizer is death? I'm reminding you, as a Muslim, I am not scared of death. I'm scared of the day of judgment. But you come to Kenya, the poor country, with overloaded debts, a governor, a president, passes with all those motorcades, and you wonder where they're going to. But I want to remind them, there's an equalizer. That equalizer is death. When you die, you will leave those cars. When you die, you will go to your God. And God will have one question for you. I gave you an opportunity to live yes, in your country and lead your country. Proceed on I'm speaking out of reality and don't be scared of death. Me as a Muslim, I'm honorable, not scared. Honorable Speaker, I just want to, I don't know, is it in order for Honorable Fatuma to impose threats and blackmail while passing a very important message, uh, you know, that the only equalizer is death? I mean, can't, we, can't this house mitigate such challenges without really death? Must we die for us to save public de people from the public debt? I mean... Uh, so, sorry if that touched your heart, but I want to remind you again that you are a candidate for death. All of us will die. And I'm reminding you, as a Muslim, I am not scared of death. I'm scared of the day of judgment. And that is why it's my responsibility as a Muslim sister. My book tells me that always remind your brother and sister where they are wrong. Because the day of judgment, I will be next to you and I will be asked, you as a member of parliament, you saw your president, you saw your governor, you saw your minister going around with all these cars and people were dying of hunger. What did you do? What answer will I have in front of my creator? The answer will be, I spoke and it is on record. And the devil will say, surely I am a witness. And the angels will say, our sister spoke and she spoke the truth. Dear Kenyans, let us tell our leaders this is too much on us.